Hello, everybody. Uh, we are gonna go uh, find some shells today. So it's pretty windy today, and that is because Hurricane Fiona is right offshore here in Maine. And uh, of course, we're not getting any of the uh, actual weather from the hurricane, but we are getting residual effects uh, with wind uh, and high surf here. So um, when you get high surf and high winds, that usually means that things can wash up on the beach. So I'm going to go check out some spots and see if there's anything fun to collect on the beach. But anyways, it should be a good adventure. So let's go. got down to the beach and there is tons of rack here a lot of stuff so don't even know where to begin there's so much honestly um, but let's look let's start collecting let me get my bag out and we can go Sometimes if you get down in these rock piles, you can find some cool things. So I just found this huge slipper. That's probably the biggest slipper I've ever seen. And I said the wind was going to be pretty bad on this side. It seems like it's sheltered, so um, I may be able to, to narrate this, so that's good. Alright, I already found something cool. Check it out. Yeah, it's a deep sea scallop. So, this is cool because... This is a deep water shell. And that means in this rack line here, there's a high probability that we might find some more cool deep water shells because of this surf. So we're gonna find out. little oyster look at this and I think it's yeah it's still hinged wow that is so cool look at that that is nifty not every day you find a hinged oyster like that that's cool what an awesome find another northern whelk this is cool that's even better look at that beauty Wow, definitely holding on to that one. Nice. So shelling in Maine can be hit or miss sometimes because um, there's no, I don't want to say there's never, but often there's no shell piles in Maine. Sometimes there are, and I've encountered those before, and I think I filmed a few in some of my past episodes, but um, you have to do a little bit more looking on the beaches, a little bit more turning over rocks, walking the, the low tide line and the high tide line much like you would in a place like Southwest Florida, but uh, there's no piles of shells in Maine. So it makes shelling a little bit more of a challenge, but also more rewarding when you find something that you're really looking for, or when you find a cool thing 
that you don't know what it is, but it still is exciting. As I mentioned earlier, that, that hurricane is offshore here, and there's been a lot of stuff that we found so far. So I definitely think that some of the waves have uh, have churned up some some shells, and we're definitely finding some cool things. So let's keep going. Another one of these dark blue surf clams. He, the shell is probably sitting offshore in some sediment. Uh, the sediment probably had low oxygen level, and that's what most often causes this blue color. But it's kind of cool to see shells that are blue like this. They aren't naturally blue like that. Um, but uh, the environment in which they lay uh, for an extended period of time is what makes them blue. That's a juvenile. Juvenile waved whelk. That's cool. Oh. Oh, buddy, leave you alone. Okay. First moon of the day. It's got a little hole. We'll hold on to it for the story. This guy's got a story, that's for sure. Beautiful little northern moon snail. Nice. Another awesome find here. This is a false angel wing. That's a cool find. And that's one of the biggest ones I've ever found. Wow. Definitely gonna hold on to that as soon as it break in my bag. Cool find. Just found a really cool horse muscle that's pink. So usually these are uh, more yellow in color, but that's like, I've never seen one like that before yellow or purplish, but that's pink. I'm definitely gonna hold on to that. What a cool find that is. Wow. All right, I just found another horse muscle, and I wanna do a little comparison here because just to show you the, the cool color of the one that I just found. So most often horse muscles look like this, right? So they're like white, light purplish. And this other one that I found is that like reddish salmon color, uh, which is really, really cool. So those are the two uh, horse muscles and what the right on the right what they normally look like and then that cool color on the, the pink one there so that's why it's cool and guys it is very windy on the beach today uh yeah another northern whelk and y'all i just got super excited and i'll show you in a minute why because Look at this! Oh my gosh. Do y'all know what this is? Yes, it's only a piece. This is an Iceland scallop. Now, funny story. I was at this beach a few weeks ago and I found a piece of these and I got so excited because I've never found, or up until that point, I had never found one of these shells before and I came back here again, and I found another one piece. This is so cool. These shells are uh, pretty uncommon in Maine because they're extremely cold water shells. Iceland scallop, they come down from the Arctic uh, in the Labrador current, so even if you find a piece, that is pretty cool. My day is already made <laughs> finding this. I'd love to find a whole one, but we'll see. I gotta put this in a safe spot so it doesn't break, but awesome. Awesome, awesome find. Y'all, I'm not kidding. Look at this. Holy crap. All right, so, <laughs> God. All right, this is a Neptune, and it's only the cob of a Neptune, but uh, just a few steps down from where I found the, uh, the Iceland scallop. This is awesome, I'm so excited. I have a lot of these that are whole at home, but I never find them like this here uh, in Southern Maine. This is so cool. What an awesome find. Okay, so I just found this. I mean, it looks like a northern whelk. A waved whelk, but honestly, I'm not sure. 
there are other types of uh, species of gastropods in Maine that they're not very common, but they're they're Arctic shells. Um, this may be the piece of one, um, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research. This looks like it might be a common whelk, but then again, it's a little bit narrow for them. Usually the uh, waved whelks, the common northern whelks, are a bit, a bit fatter. This is interesting. I'm gonna keep it because I think it might be <laughs> an Arctic uh, species related to the whelk, the northern whelk. But uh, the latter whelk comes to mind. There's um, a species that looks like the northern whelk. That's called the latter whelk. Uh, this might be that. All right, cool find. This shell just may be a surf-worn ladder whelk. This whelk is a cousin of the common northern whelk and belongs to a group of gastropod shells called buxinum. Ladder whelks are most often found north of Maine in the Gulf of St. Lawrence and along the coasts of Newfoundland and Labrador, where the ocean is, believe it or not, even colder than the Gulf of Maine. When I'm looking to see where a specific type of shell can be found, I use the World Register of Marine Species website, search for the shell using its Latin name, and pull up the documented distribution data. If we look at the documented distribution map for the latter whelk, we can see that most of the fine locations are in the Gulf of St. Lawrence and north towards Quebec and Baffin Island, Canada. But there are also a couple occurrences documented in the Gulf of Maine. There are literally dozens of lesser known species of buxinum, and a few that can be found throughout this particular region of the North Atlantic. The common northern whelk is the shell from the buxinum genus we most often find in Maine. But that's not to say that more arctic shell species, like the latter whelk, can't be found here as well. Especially when large storms, like Hurricane Fiona, stir up the churn and movements of the Labrador current, carrying greater arctic biodiversity south to the Gulf of Maine. Okay, y'all, gonna uh, check out another location, but this spot has definitely given me some cool things. Got the cob of a New England Neptune, a deep sea scallop, found a piece of an Iceland scallop, so cool. Um, found what may be a ladder whelk, I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that a little bit, but definitely the storm has churned up and deposited some cool stuff on the beach. Um, so again, we're not having any impact of the storm here directly. Uh, but right offshore there, a couple hundred miles, uh, Hurricane Fiona is churning. Uh, and it's, it's making the surf rougher here. And uh, we're going to be experiencing that for the next couple days. So going to check out another spot and see what else we can find. We're gonna check another spot here. Found quite a few things earlier today. And um, again, this is storm shelling. Uh, there's no storm currently here directly, but we are experiencing um, some of the residual impact of Hurricane Fiona a couple hundred miles out to sea, past the Gulf of Maine. That does bring uh, high surf and wind here. And uh, so it's, it's cool because um, in those types of conditions, uh, the high tides will usually deposit some uh, deep water shells onto the shore uh, or the normal shells that you find, but in more abundance. Found quite a few cool things earlier at the other location and I'm excited to see what we can find here. So it's always a good time. Let's go check it out. I just wanted to highlight something here. You can see looking west there, it's pretty clear. We are in a sheltered area here, so it's not as windy. Uh, but if you look out east, 
you can see those big massive cloud banks where Hurricane Fiona is. Those bands go that way. That's pretty crazy. Really cool. Just found another hinged oyster. I'm not gonna keep this one because my bag's already pretty heavy from what I found earlier. But uh, that's not bad. I'll leave it back to nature. There is a lot of drift here. Look at all this. Look at all these gorgeous shells. We got a, a waved whelk. Got another one here. Another one here. That's a nice one. I think I'll keep that. Beauty. So many mussels. Got a little dog winkle here. And then... oyster. It's just a rack line for days here. <laughs> it's cool. It's beautiful. Beautiful as always. Look at this little guy. I almost stepped right over him. Just hiding. So hidden. Love when I find, whoops, I love when I find these little Easter eggs. <laughs> in and amongst everything else. This is a deep sea scallop. And boy oh boy, is it beautiful. I love these shells. The storm has definitely washed up some goodies. These are hard to find in Maine. Look at this. Perfect. Beautiful find here. Nice little northern moon snail. Ooh, and it's so colorful. Oh man. Look at that. It's like Salmon and pink. This is such a beautiful shell. Love it. Great find. Found another beauty. Look at this. Beautiful deep sea scallop. That is such a cool find. That is so awesome. Quite a, quite a few of these today. Another gorgeous moon. This is a northern moon snail. This is a great find. Nice one, but stinky. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here on the beach, but it's got a really cool yellow reddish hue to it, but I'll leave it be. I have a lot of those at home. Another cool find. Yep. Another false angel wing. Really awesome find. Second one today. Nice. Oh, 
Okay. So this one isn't as uh, nice quite as the other ones, but it's still kind of cool. That's a deep sea scallop. And you can notice the, uh, the fins on the bottom are, uh, are more. Sack full of goodies. <laughs> okay. Yep. More. <laughs> okay. It's been a long day of shelling and uh, checked out two locations. And um, again, we are dealing with the um, effects of uh, Hurricane Fiona. Obviously it's very nice weather here today, but it is very blustery, it's very windy, and um, the, uh, the surf isn't too high right here, but it was uh, a little bit rougher at the first location that I was at. I do think that the past few high tides have washed in a lot of goodies. Um, also probably going to have high surf again tomorrow, um, so I might get out tomorrow and also see if I can um, find some more stuff as well at another location. See, it is very windy. Hopefully it's not too windy. Um, but yeah, so let's check out some of the stuff we got today. Okay, so this is everything. Again, this is not normal for me to find on beaches in Maine. I don't normally find all of these types of shells. Uh, so we can start here. Got some beautiful uh, surf clams. This one in particular being uh, that bluish, that dark bluish color. And again, this is not the mollusk's natural color. This, this occurs when the shell sits in sediment and is deprived of oxygen. Over here, we've got some beautiful moon snails. I think this one is my favorite. Really, really nice. Um, but these are always a joy to find. These are different than the shark eyes. Uh, they have more of a northern range, hence the name northern moon snail. Uh, we've got our beautiful and trusty uh, common northern whelks. These are also called wave waved whelks. They're very beautiful. Found a few of those today. Got some beautiful deep sea scallops here. This one's the most weathered. That is a beautiful one there. Uh, and a couple others here. Really, really beautiful stuff. Then we've got some beautiful horse, uh, horse mussels here. Uh, the one in the middle in particular uh, we found has that salmon pink orange tone and I really thought that was beautiful juxtaposed to other types of horse mussels here uh, that have normal uh, normal pigment. I thought that middle one was, was pretty beautiful. We've got some uh, slipper snails here. Uh, so these are really beautiful as well too. They look like little slippers, hence the name. Um, I have a periwinkle here that is extremely weathered and pitted, but pretty large, so that's why I collected it. Got a couple cool pieces of sea glass. Um, of course, we have some beautiful uh, common sand dollars. Found those today. We got some beautiful blue mussels. Um, these are cousins of the horse mussel, uh, but they are a separate species. Uh, we got some uh, false angel wings. I had these in my pocket so they didn't break, but those are really beautiful. They are different than the angel wings, uh, the large angel wings that you find in Florida. Uh, there's a few types of angel wings you can find along the Atlantic coast. False angel wings like here, uh, the regular angel wings, uh, which are the larger ones with uh, larger and deeper striations and ribbing, and then a fallen angel wing too, which I don't have pictured here. Uh, we've got some uh, oysters here. This one here is hinged. Uh, and I, so I thought that was that was pretty cool. This next one here, one of my favorites, even though it's only the cob, uh, this is a New England Neptune. And if this was whole, it would actually probably be pretty big. Uh, I'm actually surprised the spire is in such good condition. I found these before up and down east hole, probably came out of lobster traps. This one washed up in the storm. This just shows you what you can find um, in, uh, in, in storm-like conditions. These shells are extremely deep water shells and they don't wash up on the beach. Obviously this one has been, been through it and back 
Um, still cool to find it because I never find these on the beach in southern Maine. Um, so that shows you the, the, the storm churning at work. Uh, and of course one of my favorite finds of the day, uh, this Iceland scallop. So cool. I know it's only a piece, um, but I did find a piece of an Iceland scallop at the same location a few weeks ago. I think I posted that on my Instagram channel. Uh, and it's such a cool treat to find this type of shell because uh, they come all the way down in the Labrador current from the Arctic. Uh, so it's obviously been through it as well. Uh, it's only a piece and it's it's very blackened by um, by being in sediment, so, but still cool. And then the last thing today, uh, I'm not sure what type of shell this is. Um, so you can see that the Northern Welks are, are right next door here. Uh, in the colder Arctic seas, there are various types of whelks, separate species, uh, than the common northern whelks that exist. And I think this actually might be one of them. Uh, so you can see it does look quite a bit different uh, if I juxtapose it to um, the northern whelk here, you can see that there is quite a bit of difference. I know this one has some holes in it, but you can definitely see that there are um, uh, structural variations um, that are that are different here so I think I'm not sure I, I know off the top of my head one of the other types of whelks that you can find in the colder Arctic seas is something called a ladder whelk it might be that uh, there's a couple other types of uh, whelks as well too given this guy's condition really cool if, if it's uh, if it's another type of whelk so um, that's really awesome. So again, this is all the stuff that I found today. Uh, really, really great day storm shelling here in Maine. I will always see you on that next beach adventure. Okay, I found this right after I filmed my outro. That is a gorgeous moon snail. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Look at this, it's the best one of the day. Woo!